Week 4 Monday Morning Prayer Oh God come to our assistance Oh Lord make us to help us Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit As it was in the beginning Come O creator spirit come and make within our hearts your home to us your grace eternal give who of your breathing move and live our senses with your light in flame our hearts to heavenly love reclaim our bodies poor infirmity with the strength perpetual fortify Our earthly foe afar repel grant us henceforth in peace to dwell and so to us with you for guide no ill shall come no harm betide may we by you the father learn and know the son and you discern who are of both and thus adore in perfect faith for ever more psalm 90 In the morning Lord you fill us with your love O Lord you have been our refuge from one generation to the next before the mountains were born or the earth or the world brought forth you are God without beginning or end you turn men back into dust and say go back sons of men to your eyes a thousand years or like yesterday come and gone no more than a watch in the night you sweep men away like a dream like grass which springs up in the morning in the morning it springs up and flowers by evening it withers and fades so we are destroyed in your anger struck with terror in your fury our guilt lies open before you Our secrets in the light of your face all our days pass away in your anger our life is over like a sigh our span is 70 years or 80 for those who are strong and most of these are emptiness and pain they pass swiftly and we are gone who understands the power of your anger and fears the strength of your fury Make us know the shortness of our life that we may gain wisdom of heart Lord relent is your anger forever show pity to your servants in the morning fill us with your love we shall exult and rejoice all our days give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune Show forth your work to your servants let your glory shine on their children let the favor of the lord be upon us give success to the work of our hands give success to the work of our hands glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen In the morning Lord you fill us with your love Canticle from the book of the prophet Isaiah chapter 42 verses 10 to 16 Let the praise of the Lord resound from the ends of the earth Sing to the Lord a new song his praise to the end of the earth Let the sea roar and all that fills it the coastlands and their inhabitants let the desert and its cities lift up their voice the villages that Kedar inhabits let the inhabitants of Sela sing for joy 
let them shout from the top of the mountains let them give glory to the lord and declare his praise in the coastlands the lord goes forth like a mighty man like a man of war he stirs up his fury he cries out he shouts aloud he shows himself mighty against his foes for a long time i have held my peace i have kept still and restrained myself now i will cry out like a woman in travail i will gasp and pant i will lay waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbage i will turn the rivers into islands and dry up the pools and i will lead the blind in a way that they know not in paths that they have not known i will guide them i will turn the darkness before them into light the rough places into level ground glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen let the praise of the lord resound from the ends of the earth psalm 135 verses 1 to 12 praise the name of the lord you who stand in the house of the lord praise the name of the lord praise him servants of the lord who stand in the house of the lord in the courts of the house of our god praise the lord for the lord is good sing a psalm to his name for he is loving for the lord has chosen jacob for himself and israel for his own possession for i know the lord is great that our lord is high above all gods the lord does whatever he wills in heaven on earth in the seas he summons clouds from the ends of the earth makes lightning produce the rain from his treasuries he sends forth the wind the first born of the egyptians he smote of man and beast are like signs and wonders he worked in the midst of your land o egypt against pharaoh and all his servants nations in their greatness he struck and kings in their splendor he slew sihon king of the amorites og the king of bashan and all the kingdoms of canaan he let israel inherit their land on his people their land he bestowed glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen praise the name of the lord you who stand in the house of the lord a reading from the book of judith chapter 8 verses 21b to 23 remember that our fathers were put to the test to prove their love of god remember how our father abraham was tested and became the friend of god after many trials and tribulations the same was true of isaac jacob moses and all those who met with god's favor they remained steadfast in the face of tribulations of every kind the word of the lord thanks be to god rejoice in the lord o you just for praise is fitting for loyal hearts rejoice in the lord o you just for praise is fitting for loyal hearts sing to him a new song rejoice in the lord o you just for praise is fitting for loyal hearts glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit 
Rejoice in the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Blessed be the Lord, for he has visited us and freed us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty savior in the house of David his servant. As he promised by the lips of holy men, those who are his prophets from of old. A savior who would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us. So his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, for he has visited us and freed us. Intercessions Almighty Father, the heavens cannot hold your greatness, yet through your Son we have learned to say, Father, may your kingdom come. We praise you as your children. May your name be kept holy in the hearts of all mankind. Help us to live in the hope of heaven today. Make us ready to do your will on earth. Give us this day the courage to forgive others as you forgive us our trespasses. Father, be with us in all our trials. Do not allow us to fall away from you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord God, who entrusted the earth to men, to till it and care for it, and made the sun to serve their needs, give us grace this day to work faithfully for your glory and for our neighbor's good. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you on the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.